guys, Colt Anderson here with your HLO tip of the week. Um, as far as fishing goes, we're probably not going to talk about anything, uh, uh, you know, what to do with presentation or anything that's been working for us because, as most of you guys know, we got a tournament coming up Saturday. So we'll keep that on the down low for now. But uh, what we're going to talk about is just clean, drain, and drying your boat at the landing, making sure all the weeds, all the invasives, if there are any, are off so you're not transporting them. What we do first here is get all our bait from our live well and our, our XL Outdoors bucket, clear water bait system. So make sure you're draining those live wells. Let's do it. First thing, once you get your bait, make sure they're draining, make sure all the water's out. Put it back into your bucket. What I got here is uh, I just took a aerator and I drilled a hole through the cover of the XL bucket. For my aerator system, I'm going to pop that on, keep my minnows alive. So everything's draining, all my live wells. I'm going to pop out here. First thing I'm going to do is check my prop for weeds. It looks clean right now. Pop my plug to make sure all the water's out of that. It drained a ton today so and then just scan your trailer for weeds I see with the wind blowing in right now we got some weeds hanging off the trailer get that done and other than that it looks pretty clean and you might need to crawl under whatever but um last thing you're gonna want to do is trim down your motor Drain that lower unit. And those are things you can do just to, you know, help out with your inspectors down here. They're usually at the landing and they got tons of boats, so you could just be nice and help them out. It's the best thing you can do, and they'll really appreciate it. So make sure uh, you become a habit of that and have a good one.